I catch uh, my own bait, mainly kawai. Especially this time of the year, there's a lot of kawai in the harbour. Um, don't think I've actually been to a bait shop in, in years. Uh, nothing goes to waste, that's all for my chooks. They love a good feed of fresh fish themselves. And also to get some nice orange eggs. This is the stuff, I tell you, the livers. Beautiful orange eggs. Yep, 100% recycled. And organic. Normally keep these for um, the skirts, which I'll show you later on. A good teasers for the bigger snapper I have found. Just these little strips come in handy. Same again, these little pieces here be used for skirts just rip them off like that quite surprising how um, these work really well for the bigger snapper but I'll show you the skirts very shortly right we've got these that which I'm going to keep and we're just going to chuck them in there and heavily salt them down with all the rest of the baits Rightio, now here's uh, what I'd probably do with uh, carwide baits for bigger snapper. Uh, I'd normally cut it probably round about there. Slip the knife in and see if you can get that nice long skirt there. And then the rest I'd just cut up for smaller inch by inch baits or 20 mil by 20 mil baits for later on but these ones here are quite important these tend to I don't know I just seem to get the bigger snapper on these some uh, really good size ones over 10 pound but um, this is how I would set normally set my bait for a bigger snapper I'd get rid of this piece here first and I'd cut through that on a bit of an angle so we've got that I'd get rid of that little fin bit, but keep all these. Now we've actually got a skirt there, and this one here is um, just the end of the uh, carboy. And what I'd normally do is I would take it down the middle, sharpen that knife a bit. And also try and get try and get one or two. I, I normally go for a, uh, quite a a nice taily skirt. And just carefully run your knife down there on one side, two, three. It doesn't matter what it looks like, but as long as it's sort of got that skirty look, that's all I'm looking for. And the same on this piece which has um, got a bit of fat in it so um, that's pretty good for um, trailing out the back I'll probably just do a couple on this one something like that so you've actually got that skirt look I could probably get another one down there if I try hard enough so the more skirty the better really. Like that. So those are the skirts I use on stray lining uh, for the bigger snapper. I'd probably cut these ones up into probably small cubes like that. 
but these ones here tend to um, I don't know just tend to attract the or hook up on the smaller snapper whereas uh, I'd probably drop a couple of these straight down off the boat or one and these ones here on the skirt would be stray lined uh, way out the back Um, I use all Shimano fishing gear, uh, rods and reels. Uh, this is a nice little um, Shimano Sienna um, 4000. It's a lovely little soft bait rod. I use just soft bait rods all the time. Just seem to um, be comfortable with them. And this is on a um, Shimano Backbone Elite. I wouldn't go past uh, anything else but Shimano. I've had them for probably 15 years now. And this is the, the, a newish one, but um, I've got some there that are still going, which are probably 15 years old, and uh, they do get a bit of a bit of a thrashing too. But um, I think at the end of the day, if you just keep them oil and washed down and maintained every so often, uh, you can't go wrong. Okay, now here's the uh, business end of the stick, or the, the rod, um, and pretty much this is my stray line setup. It's just basically um, sets of beads, obviously, with two ball sinkers, and I normally run about 15 beads on there. They're all different colours than that, but from time to time, when they get a little bit worn, I'll just spray paint them with a bit of dazzle, and they're back to square one again. Running a uh, 20 or 30 pound uh, leader and these nice little um, hooks, probably uh, for a bigger snap I would, I would tend to run a, an 8 bar o hook. I'm running a 8 bar o Mustard Demon on here, uh, seems to be my one of my favourite hooks, John Moran put me onto them years ago. So yeah, I've got Mustard Demon which I predominantly use all the time, if you can get them. And this is my second go-to, the Gamakatsu uh, Octopus All Recurve. Right, sending these um, stray lines for the skirts that I've made, I'll just pretty much show you how pretty simple they are once they've done. I just normally fold them in half like that and pretty much find the middle and go through like that. And that's pretty much it. So you've got meat all around. Um, when they're in the water obviously you're going to get those skirts moving about so that's a pretty good uh, example of catching good sized snapper in the harbour. <laughs> So we've got um, big snapper skirts for stray lining. I tend to get the stray lines as far out the back as possible, cast as heavy as you can, and even if you want to reel it out further, but the further away from the boat, the better. Normally on a, a probably a, a good flowing tide, um, I tend to find that the uh, snapper are definitely on the tube once that current starts moving um, a little bit faster and always uh, probably a half an hour after the outgoing or an hour or a half an hour before the incoming. Um, you can also, um, if you wanted to, uh, use these for skirts, topping them up. I, I tend to try and keep the, the meat size down a bit. Uh, that can also go into there for um, pretty much uh, what I can do here is I would tend to find that uh, I'd be putting a few of these uh, bits and pieces on here if there's a little bit more room. Uh, they'll, they'll probably pop off but um, 
the meatier the better um, and as I say uh, stray lining is probably the most that I do apart from a bit of um, bit of flasher rigging for uh, Gurnard so yeah pretty mean looking baits the orange is I've found over probably here yeah, since I've been fishing on this harbour I've come to a factor that uh, that bright dazzle orange seems to uh, be a, a good attractant plenty of bling they call me the bling boy um, but what this actually does too is we get a lot of weed in the harbour and that tends to hit the line somewhere on the line and find its way down and it builds up builds up now I used to run a few beads probably about that much but now I actually run them up to here and the reason for that is when you start getting a build up of uh, weed which is a lot in the harbour at the moment that'll start clumping up but it'll only come down to about here where your bait is still every time you pull it up you might have a lot of weed on there and your baits are still uh, visible from the bottom if you didn't have that on there uh, your you would not see your your um, baits at all for the weed so that's the reason pretty much for the long set of beads and I found orange is the favorite I don't know bead color flasher color for snapper gurnard tra definitely trevally if you're uh, uh, targeting trevally this is the shot I think it imitates um, the orange row on the scallop and also a little bit of a fresh scallop on here with the orange sticking out uh, dynamite absolute dynamite on uh, Trevally too so pretty much a general all around what I use and that's about it really I, d I don't use any uh, other rigs apart from this 24-7 as I say these these skirts here these little off cuts which come off these lines here if you do decide that you you're getting good snapper on on these types of skirts just cut those off and just make some mini ones um, but as I say uh, trim trim a bit of the trim a bit of the meat off it's got a bit of a bone in it yeah trim the meat off and just do the skirts again as you would these other bigger ones so you've got that type of thing looking I tend to find that they they cut a lot better skin down and that is a far better bait than just I would say just the normal bait there it um, sits on there and uh, produces a little bit of a bit of a flap 